you know join this friendship and if you're old hey friend thanks for coming back but today I'm here to tell you guys the things you need for college um, I'm pretty sure I left some, th left some stuff off this list so if I did if it's a lot of stuff I left off the list I'll make a part two and if it's not a lot of stuff I'll just put them in the description box below also if you're watching this and you're already in college and you think of something that I didn't say comment down below and you guys can also go through the comments and you know help yourself out Anyways, I'm going to start this video so it's not all boring and, like, long. But, so for college, honestly, I feel like I only really needed, like, notebooks and pens. I used one pencil the whole school year. One pencil. And my backpack's over there. I will show you the pencil, but it's over there. But I have math. So I feel like if you have math, you obviously need a pencil because you have to, like, erase stuff. You know, math is hard out here, okay? Like, whew. And so you get the erase stuff. So I use the pencil for math. But other than that, I use pens. And I didn't really use binder paper like that. I think I probably use like four sheets of binder paper because we had to like write in class essay or whatever. Dang, everyone is just hitting me up. I'm trying to film this video. Dang. But anyways, um, I only use binder paper when we did in class essays or like in class, like the questions are turning or whatever. So I guess you could get like a couple packs of binder paper. But I mainly use notebooks, and I use the notebooks with a little pouch on the inside, so I didn't have to use binders. So that's all I really needed. And I might do another video, like maybe a school supplies haul. Thumbs up if you want that video, because that'll help you also get an idea of what you need for college. So thumbs up if you want a school supplies and like college haul. Again, like a new one, an updated one for this year, not the last year's one. Thumbs up if you want that. Um, also, I suggest, actually, I don't suggest, I feel like everyone should get a printer in college. Uh, let me tell you why. So, first of all, the printer I had was, like, it was pretty reasonably priced, for one, and ink's not that expensive. You know, get you some printer paper, take some from home, to be honest. Because nine times out of ten, I feel like the person who uses the printer the most at your house is probably you, because you were in school, so if you take it with you, I feel like it's not going to be missed that much. But anyways... So, the library, like, I think my school's library closed at, like, 10 p.m. or 12, one of the times. But here's the thing. In college, let's be real. You gonna procrastinate. It's gonna be, like, 1 o'clock in the morning, and you still need to type in that paper. Or you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go to second and finish it in the morning. Well, if you have to watch the library, it takes extra time. So, I need to pick up extra early. Or you have to figure out how to go to print it. And it costs money to print in college. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm, at my college, I don't know about your college, but... If you get a printer, you print your own stuff whenever you want for free. So I'm going to link the printer that I have down below because it's pretty, like, it's pretty reasonably priced. And they have, like, a little program at Best Buy where you can sign up and, like, it's like a subscription service for ink. So you can just get ink sent to you, like, all the time. Um, I suggest you get a laundry basket with wheels. Like, I'm going to insert a picture of my laundry basket that I just got. But, um, like, I feel like you should get a laundry basket with basket with wheels because let me something's in my eye i'm struggling okay i'm cool because okay so i have like a little laundry bag with the like like the little backpack strap and i really broke my shoulder every time i had to go do laundry because let's be real i'll wait till the last minute to do laundry like until i had no clothes left because you know wouldn't be me i like breaking my shoulder trying to walk to the laundry room so you know i got a new little laundry basket with wheels so psh. new year new me new shoulders <laughs> oh sometimes i just like hear my jokes and i'm like wow that wasn't funny but it's okay um so with the laundry basket i would suggest using tide pods i got the little the little what's up can i stop struggling today dang let me put that right there i got the like it's a big case of tide pods off of amazon well my someone got it for me but um, I'll link it down below. And, and you can get those. And that lasts me pretty much the whole school year. Because you only need like one or two pods depending on the size of your load. Like if your load is like huge. But like honestly college washing machines aren't like that big to do that many loads. So you really only need like one pod per load. 
and it probably gets so much easier than using detergent. Everyone who uses detergent make the little washing machines overflow. I don't know why I keep saying calling everything little, but it makes them all overflow. Now this right here is a key to your sleep success. So I suggest you get a mattress pad and a protector. The mattress pad is like foam or something. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's foam. It's foam because it's called memory foam. And you put that like on top of the bed and then you put the mattress protector over that. And then you put your like sheets on top of that. And I feel like that the mattress pad makes your bed comfortable because the college beds are pretty hard. Unless you like a hard bed, then you know, go ahead. And the protector just protects you from like bed bugs or like anything. And you know, college beds, I feel like they're gross to me. So protect yourself and your skin. Um, Clorox wipes and hand sanitizer. You will get sick like four more times in college, like living in a dorm, than you will when you live at home. I got sick so much, especially if you live in a dorm and your roommate's sick, your chances of getting sick are like 90% because they're right there with you. Not touching the door, touching everything. So that's why I suggest getting Clorox wipes and um, sanitizer so that you can kind of help like not get that sick. And I feel like you should wipe down your dorm anyways before you like put your stuff in it. Like when I'm, before I move in, I like wipe everything down with Clorox wipes. Well, my grandma did it for me, but you know. So that's my Grammy. And then I put my stuff in my room. So yeah. Um, also an extension cord and a power strip. Now, check your school rules for this because I guess I watched some other videos and people said like their schools don't allow them to have power strips. So I don't know. I don't think my school has ever one. It's not written down nowhere. But I feel like an extension cord because you're going to want to be on your phone and the plug is going to be kind of far from your bed and you're going to want to have to, you know, put your phone up there. Well, I have a top bunk. So if you have a bottom bunk, it probably not that big of a deal. But still, extension cords are so useful for whatever it is you may be doing. You know, I don't know what you need a section cord for other than your phone, but and a power strip. Honestly, I didn't realize how many things I had like to plug up until I moved in, and I was like, wow, all these plugs and not enough outlets. So power strip is so useful. They have um actually just came to me light bulb. Ding. It just came to me that um at Target and Walmart, I think one or the other, probably both, they have like the little on the power strip. It tells you like a something approved i don't know what the other word is but it says something approved and usually those are the ones you can take to school so just look for like just read them and read your school rules um also bring extras of your toiletries so bring like say you have shower gel bring like four and then put them like i for me i have like a container like the plastic containers with all my extras so like my extra shower gel extra razors extra hair product um I don't know, extra toothpaste, extra, I use baby oil in the shower, so extra baby oil, baby wipes, whatever it is that you need, all your toiletries, all your products, skincare, hair care, face care, whatever, bring extras of it. It makes it so much easier because I feel like whenever you write all your stuff, it's at the most inconvenient time. So if you bring extras, you already have it in your dorm instead of having to spend money because, you know, chances are you're going to be broke at that time and you're going to be struggling. So bring extras so that you always have it. Or at least bring enough extras to last you to, like, Christmas break, and then you can go home on um, break and then buy, like, more extras to last you to the end of the year. Um, bring an extra charger. Like, if you have an iPhone, you know iPhone chargers are very unreliable. Fix it, Apple. But bring an extra charger just because you never know what can happen. You're trying to break, you forget it, or, like, I just keep a charger, like, in my room in one of my backpacks. Because, say, I went from, like, class to the library. I had a charger, like, with me at all times. So, yeah, you could do that. Um, bring at least one extra pair of sheets. I don't feel like you need, like, a bajillion pairs, like, because you're going to be doing laundry. But I feel like I eat in my bed. I don't know if everyone eats in their bed, but if you spill, you're not going to want to sleep in the bed that you spilled something on. So then you would change your sheets. So if you have an extra pair of sheets, then you would be able to just switch it out. And I had an extra comforter. I don't, you may not need one. You may just wash it, like, all the time. That's up to you. And also, bring a clip-on fan, um... It gets really hot in dorm rooms. My dorm especially, like, it would get so hot. If it was hot outside, it was hot inside the dorm. And it's hard to sleep when it's hot. So a clip on fan, I feel like it's so useful. And if you're like me, I sleep with the fan on, like, 24-7. Like, I need a fan blowing in my face, like, whenever I go to sleep. So a clip, blah, 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 blah. A clip on fan is really useful for that. So, boom, 
There you go. Things you need for college. Super important. Thank you for watching. Bye, friends.